All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the World Series of Spades. This is your host, Mr. Herm Coley, along with my beautiful, loving, fun, spade, all spades knowing co-host, uh, Miss D Free. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're coming back. Uh, real quick, uh, just to recap what we already saw, we saw the JPs and the headliners go head to head and... Uh, the headliners, I mean, the JPs were no match for the headliners. No match uh, at all. But we did see improvement from the JPs, and they did a great job from reneging on the first game to now, to where they are now. So I'm excited because this is a sudden death match, a winner take all. Uh, the best two teams, uh, or the best team is going to win. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to I wanna know, because I want to know, D Free, what do you, what are you expecting to see in the, in the sudden death match? I'm expecting to see, to, if I just, to be honest, mm -hmm. with the pressure that's on the line here, I think Clint and Tish are going to take it. You believe I, that? I have all confidence. And, you know, a lot of, it's interesting that you you, you talk about the improvement we saw for Patrick. What Absolutely. I really enjoyed about the matchup between the JPs and the the um, headliners is that the, the confidence. Yeah. You know, when they, even when they were going to bid, there was no stalling. There was no oh, you're talking about between indecision. The, 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 oh, yeah, you're right. Yes. Yeah, like the, the confidence from both teams. I agree. What we have yet to see from the, the, dirty the, mitt, the dirty mittens, you know, we're going into game three and there's still just no real chemistry between the teammates. I agree. You know, they're a little... They don't bid. They go back and forth. There's indecision, and right. I think in this, with the pressure that's on this game, we're going to see that kind of come coming as a disadvantage. Wow, strong words, man. That, wow, wow. I, I, you know, I, I like that. That's exactly why you are the co-host on all, <laughs> all, all things uh, spades knowledge. Um, but real quick, we we sat down with Natalie to to talk about her spades experience, and here's what she said. Um, I've been playing professionally um, since maybe about 96 in my grandma's cookouts at the house. You know, the kids, you know, to separate the kids over here and the adults over here. So I've been playing since for a very long time, like 20 years almost. I thought about teaching classes and like holding seminars. Um, that's, that's all my to-do list. She may be a, may have been the best in her neighborhood, but this is the World Series. This is definitely the World Series, and I don't believe that you know, all the things she was saying, like, you know what, it's, it's easy to be the, the big fish in a small pond, but with your, now when you're in a big pond, how do you react to the other fish? And speaking of other fish, uh, let's talk to probably one of the most vocal players on in, in, in this tournament. Uh, let's talk to Clint real quick and see how he feels. My spades experience, man, um, I learned from my father. Uh, my dad taught me uh, when we were uh, when I was about 11 years old. Here's exactly what happened. I'm gonna give the small story. Uh, my dad and his best friend Tony got into it, and he didn't have a partner, and he had to, he had to, he had to, he couldn't lose on his table. And as his son, I said, Dad, I know how to play spades. My dad said, Clint, if you don't if you don't if you don't play spades properly, I'm gonna whoop your ass. My dad is the Joe Jackson of spades, and I'm Michael Jackson. Ow. Wow, man. Strong words from Clint, man. First of all, it sounds like his dad taught him a lot about spades and uh, sounds like uh, his dad was uh, the all-knowing spades guy, it seems like, because if you raised a guy like that to play spades, then shit, I don't know, you know, so uh, they might be in trouble, man. Now, there seems to be some action on the table. Let's get to it. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is it, man. Game three is one-to-one. -one. Uh, listen, there's a lot of feelings of hurt, petty, Pettiness going on, shit talking, but this is the final one. This is it right now. <laughs> he got his hand up. Let's go down, man. Let's get down for the crown. Here we go, man. First game bid to sell. <laughs> Somebody Ooh. cut that? Somebody cut that. Yeah, already cut We want to bid. We want to. I like we aren't friends anymore, bro. Like... Mm. He said y'all was never friends. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh. Mm. Now I'm in my feelings. Fuck your feelings. There we go. Woo! Keep that same energy. You see the difference? You see game one. Game one was F, quiet. If your feelings was talking a little, you know, when they was up, when they won, they was talking a little Ryan, shit. Who you work then for, bro? Game two. What jersey <laughs> you got on? Then game two. <laughs> First game bids itself. It's only your sweet. No, 
<laughs> Ref over here trying to get his ear whispered in after the, the game. Help out. Thank, thank you. No problem. Right, the game has started. Please give a couple seconds to get your hands together. You don't get your filthy hands off. Y'all not gonna take the book. I'll take you. Leaving the kids in the street. Wow. I was slow motion with it too. Clint with the queen, okay. and Brennan with the king. Spot of tea, perhaps. It'd be nice. Nah. You don't want no tea? You set that down at all. I felt disrespectful. Black Queen. Damn. Mm. Forty two, dirty glove up. I think that was for our feelings. I don't know if y'all saw that in the screen over there. I did. Clint is still not talking. Back to clubs. Let's see what Tish and Brennan does this well, time. Clint has to make Brennan jump. Game to ace. What you gonna do? And there it is. It. But that's okay. That's what spades is about. Absolutely. Yes, I like. Well, one of the rules we play with at home is to. You gotta beat the spade. You gotta beat the spade. Gotta beat the spade. Absolutely, <laughs> got. If spades are led, you have to beat the spade. Six three. Seven, six. Good guys up. Tension is in the air. Um, I don't really have much to say this one. Do you think Brennan oh, is keeping him in the game? I don't understand here. I you think just... Brennan is playing psychological warfare with Clint. Like, he's enjoying oh. looking at Clint's mood like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, bitch, I'm sorry. Ralph, who do you think is going to take F F your feelings. The uh, person that's gonna whisper I, 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 in his ear be, later. I think that's an unfair question. That is an unfair question. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have no dog in this fight. Okay. I just want a good game. Except for your ear getting whispered in later. Yeah. I have one little question. <laughs> <laughs> and I still ain't here. I didn't even hear yeah, what she got, said. Yeah, he got a couple questions for you too. <laughs> that was politely not answered. I'm gonna talk to you later. <laughs> I heard you. Hey y'all, we just having fun here, guys. Come on now. It's who's up? Who's bidding first? F your feelings, bidding first. Okay. It's got twenty seconds to bid. Starting one, yeah. I got four. You got four. I got. Th I got. Th I got two in the pot. I got three. I can take. I can take. Seven. 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 Good glove. Partner, I can probably get you. Dare I bid off? Would want to hear from the peanut gallery. Oh, you'll hear from us regardless. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank uh, you for the acknowledgement. I can get you. Um, 15 seconds. Three. Okay. You said that with a question mark. <laughs> three to the box. I can probably give you four. 10 seconds. I got one possible. What do they go? They went seven. You want to go? I go five, five seconds. I go five. We'll go three. Five. Two. Five. How many did you have? No possible. You, gotta, you, gotta, right. you can put it, but we can go up afterwards. It's way more than 20 seconds. Hey, we can put the We said it. We said it. Like that oh, long time. Y'all are hell of a peanut gallery. Change I'm happy bids. somebody talking out here. Y'all good? <laughs> seven. Seven and five? We should go up. What type of game is this? You sure, Tish? Hey, he's yeah. like, last time we went eight, you know what happened. No, you know what happened last time. All right. 
Eight. Yes. You act like you set them on a real eight. Y'all good? They went blind. <laughs> no, no, no. We did set them on a real eight before yeah, they went blind. No. That's how they went. Hey, hey, hey. Partner, you want to go, like go, go, no. go up? I actually, yeah. I like this guy behind me. I don't. No, you guys should go up. This is a, you don't play space. Good. Play space. Okay, all right, go let's up. play. Play the win. We're, we're, the game is locked. Oh, we went eight. We went up. Okay. We went eight. There's no books out there. She's first. She's first. Clint takes that with a king mm -hmm. of diamond. Two books to one. already see two hands of diamonds go right Clint is cutting there you go five two after your feelings how's your day going Jake partner <laughs> right <laughs> Was that like Andre 2000? Was that Andre 2000? Um, Bentley Fonsworth? This is the third game. So whoever third game. wins this whoever win this wins their, this. their round. Whoever wins this Hopefully they get this little practice round. They all get your bearings. One of the things that I like about Tish's play is, is that let's focus in on her real quick. One thing I like about Tish's play is let's look at her. Let's not look at the actual, get, like, like her playing cards. Let's look at her. She does not show what she has in her hand. At all. You would not know if you're an opponent whether or not she's cutting or she's not cutting. So if you're not paying attention to, to, to the board, you could be you could be sliced by Tish at any time because she's a silent assassin. I think that's great, great strategy and great play by her. Let's continue. Six four, have your feelings. You let them get an eight, and you're never gonna hear it again. Damon Wayans, don't look spooked. Let's fucking go! <laughs> the fuck off the goddamn table, you bums! <laughs> what are you talking about? You oh, said yeah, you set that up that whole time. You bums! <laughs> you That's it. Well, at least y'all didn't go too high. Yeah, I ain't worried. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Need six to win. Tish. One forty to go. twenty. Twenty, uh, like two zero. One forty to twenty. The Dirty Mitten did the setting last hand and or last game and uh, they set them by, you know, Tish and Clint going eight and then they, they didn't have it. This time Tish and Clint originally was going to go seven. They went eight and they set them. All right. And you saw the emotion come out of Clint's face when it happened. So talk to me about what you just saw. What I saw was Tish, the silent assassin, set them up really nicely. Absolutely. They bid seven, yep. really cool about it. She right. didn't boast. She didn't give you any energy or indication of what she was holding in her hand. Absolutely. She let the dirty mitts go back and forth. They questioned if they should go up, if we should go low. Tish said to Clint, go eight. Right. Clint wasn't even sure. Right. He Tish wasn't. knew that they had that. Right. And right. that's what we saw. I agree. And 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 the emotion came out. Let's 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 continue to watch. 160. 160. 160. Obviously, my math is great. 
Can you shuffle the cards, please? Already did. You want to? Well, you, I mean, I didn't see you. Right? I don't think you guys have an option. Because you was playing when I was doing. What'd you say? I don't think you guys have an option. They only got six. I mean, that's that. They might not get six. Yeah, well, but they don't. Still, 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 still far behind. So, no matter what, we gotta get something big here. All right, no matter so what you have to get, we'll take, we'll take blind A. Blind A? Yeah. Go big or go home. All right, let's get it started. <laughs> Y'all over here just toasting to the not played games yet? Well, we already won. Are you, are you, when are you going to start playing? 30 seconds. Question. Question. Mm. You should have just let us play for you. At least you would have won. Well, I'm happy y'all over there talking. <laughs> I can look at your eye. I can look at the peripheral vision of your eye. To your hand. All right, so show me you got. <laughs> you got nothing. You're not looking at me. Not even my glasses. Eyes, my eyes. Look at your posture. Wow. <laughs> um, you Whitney Houston in the bodyguard. Hate, hate, hate. I got two on a possible. <laughs> um, all right, you got two on the possible? Mm -hmm. That's what she said. All right, that's what I that's about what I got. We can take oh. Yeah, we can take the five. These niggas give us eight. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You already called my hand, remember? Man, it's, it don't it's matter good. what you got. You uh, don't know how to play it. It's on you. Good point. You're right. <laughs> mm. Okay. Let's see what happens here. That's my All right, Clint takes the, Clint takes the first book. Clint with the nine of diamond. All right. Dirty Mitten grabs that book. One book to one book. Dirty, Dirty Mittens look like they're going to take the sec the third. Mm-hmm. They got they got a hand, it looked like. If Tisha Clips only got five, they, 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 they got... They stand they, a chance. They should at least have seven. You could hear a pin drop. Yeah. Good play by Tish. What did they end up Two books for blind F your feelings. Uh, blind eight and F your feelings went five. Tish back at hearts. Which would not get them over 200. Dirty Mitten takes that with the Queen of Hearts. Three for the Dirty Mitten. Back with the King of Hearts. Cool. Clint cut high, too. He wanted the book. Also, the Two of Spades isn't a guaranteed book. It isn't. You don't have it's to not. hold on to that. No, but it's, it's a good one to cut with. Yeah, because it's like now my partner it. knows what's out there. And yeah, yep. or Clint's partner knows what's out there. All right, that's another books for uh, Fuck Your Feelings. They got oh, yeah. four. All they need is... One more. One more. They got their books. Four to four. Oh, whoa, it's not her turn. He won that. Whoa. I thought I did. He won that. He threw out... He won that. Let she threw see. out early. He won that book. What? I don't think I did win that. Who threw out the king? I did. She did. Yeah, hey, right, call I'm, yourself, That's man. not a renege. I just asked her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That hurt. Now he has no more spades. No more spades. That was a good play by Natalie. That hurt. A very good play by Natalie. I will give her that. Five up. I want to talk about bidding and bidding with the little joker and bidding with the two of spades so it looked like clint only had the little joker and the two of spades and maybe another small spade when that in that case are you counting the two and the little joker or you're just counting one of them i count the big joker for sure i count one of them for sure absolutely if if in my other suits i right. have less than three if i have um Less, Less than, than two of, yeah. of any of my other suits, right. then I'll count that. Because it does, I know I know I have a chance of winning my cut right. with this 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 right. deuce. So right now Clinton Tish already made their books at five, and it looks like I don't think Clinton counted the either the, the little joker or the two of spade. It didn't look like it. And because you know sometimes it has the opportunity to get eaten up, especially if the little joker is your only spade. Absolutely. Let's continue. Woo! 
Ooh. This is this is getting interestingly. Wow. Oh. Well. No, 181. Use a diamond ace of spades played at the same time. I actually have you guys made it, so now I feel like we're like we got a good game. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. 160 plus 20. That's good. Yeah, true. What's 180 for sure? 180 Ooh. 190. Yo, real oh. talk. Real talk. This oh is a good game right now. Oh my god. Now. Yeah, I mean, oh there's respect. There's no respect here. I respect it. Yo, this is this a hell of a game. This could not have been closer. This could not have been closer. This is a hell of a game. This could not have been closer. Here you are. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't wait. I want to play Final game. So somebody, somebody winning and somebody losing. Win. And this, this is, man, this is incredible, man. Yeah. It, it, I'm telling you, it looked like when the first game, it looked like it was a blowout. I thought F.U. Phillips was going to win two games real quick and get y'all up out of here. But y'all like got your the <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my feelings. Too. 160. No, uh, it's 160. It's 160. So 80 and 80 is 160. I know, but um, so we went blind one. We, we, we went blind eight, right? Yeah, yeah you, so you, blind, you would have to go blind 10 to win. Yeah. Or, yeah. or blind, blind nine. nine. We had to go blind nine. Oh, okay. You're going first, but uh, well, but, uh, but uh, get F your feelings, uh, be it first. Nine is aggressive, but it's hot. Nine is like, you can, I'll do my math. I don't know why you're confused. I don't know either. I, I guess I, I thought we had one. Partner's good. No, 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 I don't worry about it. You got once, if you went blind eight, that's 80 points plus another 80 points for going getting blind eight. That's 160. 160 plus 20 that you already have, that's 28. All right, when do, how long we got to do, we start now? Yeah. yeah, F your feelings, uh, bid first. How many you got, Tish? Uh, we got to throw his hand and I don't have no spades. Ooh. Oh, wow. Well, oh. that may have just changed the course. He had all of them, though. He hurt right now. He had every no single matter. spade known to him. That's, he, that's the best hand. hand you've ever had, isn't it? Shoot. That was the best hand he's ever had. He's so hurt right now. He he's like, tell me. So for the audience that doesn't know, what just happened there, cuz? So, as you know in the rules, if you do not, if any player does not have a spade in their hand, you have to throw the cards in and you redeal. Yeah. So, what we, the, the, the thing about throwing the hand in, it kind of disrupts the momentum. It does. And it kind of sets us back at an even playing field. It you does. have to reshuffle the cards. It does. Everyone just thought they, they were about to end. They knew what they were going to bid. I agree. And bam, no. Right. Start again. Yeah. So here so, we go. We're about to start again. Let's see. I won, baby girl. Just one. Nah, that one the best hand he had. I, I can see it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying is he's sick right now. He ain't gonna say nothing about it. Was it a good hand? No, it actually wasn't. It wasn't? It wasn't. Why was you so hurt? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell him what my hand was. <laughs> Smart man. Man, that was the first one uh, with no space. You said win? You have a good... Uh, probably right, probably so like seven, dirty eight, glove, y'all bid first. Seven years ago? No, when I was seven or eight. Y'all better look at your cards, baby. I got I ain't that young. To I ain't that young. You definitely got to give it more. All right, so the cards have been dealt. It's time to bid again. Uh, I could probably get you three, two. So you want to just go six? Yeah. Six is on the board. Always change it after. F your feelings. So we only need what to beat them. Because that would put them at what? 180. That would put 240. 240. So all we need. Five, right? You need five, six. Is, five gives us 240. Six gives us 250. We definitely got six. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh. Hey, you didn't even ask about nothing? <laughs> I, I'm going to be Yeah, you're going to carry this. I have, I have nothing. I, I can't get you any books. I am impressed. They got. So, yeah, nerd. we got six. That's six. <laughs> yeah, whatever we need to beat them, we have to go. Like, that's done. Yeah. Here we go. Wait, are they gonna? y'all going to go up? Oh, no, can you stop commentating on the game? That's a guy. That's a guy. Yeah, but I'm it's like, yo, like, y'all want to go up? Okay. <laughs> Why would I go, so, what's the point of the sport? So, they would have 240, they would, they would have 250? Yeah, they would beat y'all by 10. So, we would have six. to go up, actually. Or we just set them and win. You ain't going to set them. I mean, we can go seven if you want. Uh, What'd you say you have three in a pocket? Seven is a tie. Yeah, seven, he's right. Seven's a tie anyway, so it doesn't really matter. They I have mean, way too have much it, time to we, think about this. There's no, there's no reason to, though, because he said if we get six, they get six. Then, I mean, if we get six, like, if we, we get, get seven, six, if we get seven, it's still a tie. They... It's still a tie. But, I mean, I mean, yeah, we could. They shouldn't have this much time to do this. Yeah, yeah, way yeah, more than 27. Okay, I'm just. Okay. 
You're right. I think you're right. So, I, right. I just so, logic myself. Out. Yes what are they no. going to do? They what do you? What would you do? I think it's the, I would just say go seven. You go seven. The team that loses should go seven. The team that has to go seven because otherwise, if you get six and they get six, you lose. They did it. They went seven. They had a whole nother like that's not fair, man. They pulled out a bar grab. These niggas went six just so they could see if we we was going. I mean, this that's not this the final game. I mean, I think I mean, that's they normal. Have to, that's not they have to, yeah, but try it. I don't know how I feel about this ref battery right now. That's not cool, man. Ref, you've been you've been you man. Been, you the one that's in your feelings you've over been here. You've been riding these months. Ever since that, ever since that whisper, the ref ain't been the same. No. <laughs> 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 Y'all niggas been compromised. You've been compromised. That's all we got. Y'all don't see it, but they over here rubbing knees under the table. Y'all stop that. Natalie with the king. Ref has been compromised. So two books to two books. Mm -hmm. Nally hits with the hearts. Let's see what everyone has. Like it's not even. Like that focus. Tension, tension in the air. Tension, tension. Four, four. They made their books. That's six. These next two books have to go to the dirty mitten. Dirty mitten. And they got them. Stand a chance. Nice. Okay, and we're tied. And we're tied. Wow. Yeah, we're tied. Okay. I don't know what to do. What? We just play another hand now? Does the bid itself? Yeah. What do we do? We we uh, no, we got a bid, though. No, right? yeah. yeah. We, we play another hand. Whoever wins this hand wins. Wow. Wow. I, this is new to me. Again, respect. Well, we are going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Overtime. And give them a hand, y'all. In the World Series of Spades. Overtime. Wow. Woo. Didn't see that coming. Oh, this is it's like our NBA All-Star game. It's, it's, man. You all right, Clint? You all right? I just feelings? don't like the way you shuffle, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... Whew. It's a hell of a game, man. Good luck to everybody. I, I highly doubt this is going to happen again in the tournament. No. They're going to think we set this up. We ain't set this up. This is just happening. You're welcome for helping push y'all to put in seven. Yeah. You're welcome. Can you imagine? They're mad at that. We forced y'all to be great. No, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. For the sake of space, we got to. Each one teach you. I have no reason to have beef with y'all yet. <laughs> first. You don't want to um, beef with us. I do, though. We're doing a master first. class from yeah. the back seat. Ah! Y'all We're silly. here to educate. We're not even here to play. We're just here to watch. Y'all strange, silly. Taking our lessons. Oh, he got spades. Don't worry. Who bids first? Uh, F your feelings. Y'all up first. Y'all bid first. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck your feelings. It's time to bid. Before you shut up. He meant that shit. He said it from his heart. We don't have to go bored. <laughs> bored? Hmm? What you got, Pot? They're gonna bid eight like little pussies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I sent that comment. One, two, partner. Uh, I could probably get four. <laughs> we could go ten just to be some. No, assholes. don't let them. I know. Let him shit talk. All man, up. Man, man, up. Man, man, man up. Go to John. How is that shit? If we bid lower, if we bid lower, who cares? Go to John. Twelve seconds. Go to John. We'll go eight. No, 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 no,
Give me something. Seven, fine, whatever. He's, I'm saying we want eight. Like, partner. It don't, it don't matter. matter. Even it if we bag, we lose. It really doesn't matter. That's not safe. Man, y'all not, that's y'all that's not safe. So what we y'all playing safe it. at this point? Like, it don't matter. A win is a win. Hence for a mile. A win y'all don't seem fast and furious. I can't All right. respect not. What did Natalie just say? Even if we get bags, we win the game. And Brennan specifically said, let's go seven. And eight. He said, let's go eight. Natalie wanted to be safe and go seven. Let's see how this plays out. Wow. I'm, I'm bidding my head. I got four. I didn't see fast. I don't support that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't support that. I know, right? Just out the back. Like, okay. <laughs> She was, it sounds like Natalie was counting on Clinton <clears throat> to be lying about, or Clint to be lying about how many he has. She thinks he's underbidding. She thinks that that team, for you to bid that low, she thinks that they were going to go up and they didn't. Hmm. That's what I'm thinking she had to, had to be thinking. No, I mean, if you have the cards, you have the cards. <laughs> I think Natalie is just not... Being you know, smart. used to being on in the World Series where the rules are a little more strict, where the backs count. Right. They add up. Right. Now, Brennan. now Brennan knows he's gonna... now he's drawing out the spades. You already knew what it was. Why are you acting surprised right now? You like, oh, they got another, spade. <laughs> they got another spade. Like, yeah, we do. We definitely do. Is that another? They should have gone ten. And look at Clint's face. Perfect. You actually did have Perfect. Mine. That's what I was telling Perfect. you. Perfect. It's all good. Perfect. No, get your book. Perfect. Ain't that another sandbag? Yep, they got three sandbags in the <laughs> game. They going back. <laughs> Yeah, they go back. Yeah, they go and back. We go back, right? I mean, that's ours. <laughs> Who's this one? That's, that's I'm just going to do the math on the screen. So it looks like uh, Dirty Mitten has, they went they went seven and I think ended up with 11. 11 books. So that's four sandbags. That's three in a game. That means they go back 70, which puts them at negative, what is that, 190? No, 180. Negative 180. I mean, that puts them at 180 100 points. Clinton Tish only went four because they didn't have shit. And uh, they're at 210. They won the game. Ha! <laughs> Let's see. Of course. We didn't, we, we didn't win that. Yeah, so Just for the record, we who did encourage you so to wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Won this? Just so you know. Oh, so y'all won that. Y'all won the book. So wait a minute. We I go back that. four. They go you back seven. What? But they go back more than we do. We still have over 200 yeah. points. We win the game. Wait, I don't remember who, who played this. It don't even matter. if you, matter. Even if we did win it. the hand. Let's just say we did win it. You still so back. Nice. 10, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You go back, you go back, do uh, three bags. Three bags in one hand, you're set, right? So they're set 70 points. Okay. So that's 180. <laughs> we're back oh, 40 God. points. We're 210. We won the game. See, all that peanut gallery shit, you should have been listening. We did bitch. encourage you to Bend your hand. Tell y'all to go. And, 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 and just so you know, we didn't throw off. We literally okay. had no game. Good game. Do you think that was strategy? I think what a way to lose. What a way to lose. What a way to lose. You lost because you couldn't bid your hand. Well, what we to see them get 11 books, Brennan said we couldn't go 10. He said asshole. it. He said y'all had that's, 10. That's not that's not being an asshole, Brennan. That's winning. That's playing the game. We're right. at the world championship. And and that's the way you embarrass me and Tish and get us really the fuck up out of here. Absolutely. Is, oh, on the last hand, y'all over here, yo. 
Let me let me let me go ten. Let me let me give you a hundred points on that ass. Mr. Herm and Bev would have did that. Mr. Herm and mi- and Aunt Bev would have <laughs> definitely did that. They'd have called Wills on your ass. Mr. Herm would have said, <laughs> "Let's let's put let's put these motherfuckers away." <laughs> So the other thing we need to talk about, we've been getting a lot of calls about Clint. Mm. You know, there's been a little, wow. there's been some tricks on the table. Let's jump to, to uh, Clint and Tish. So I have a thing, my dad taught me this rule years ago. When you get your hand, nobody pays attention. People think automatically that you're looking at your hand like this, right? So when you fan your cards, it literally doesn't look like you're doing anything wrong. But I'm fanning my cards and I'm literally trying to show Tish my entire hand. Look what I got. I'm cutting diamonds from the rip. I'm cutting clubs from the rip. Yeah, it's cheating. Cheaters win. I'm sorry if, if that if that offends you guys out there. I wasn't looking at his hand though. What? Second hand, I look over and Clinton has all his cards exposed. <laughs> it's to like, everybody. I was flashing including you. Including the camera. Right. So I wasn't really looking, but I could see it and I thought it was hilarious. I mean, Especially for somebody over here when they're both talking back and forth, not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. He, he has no clue what the hell is going on. And let me ask a question. Like, people out there who play spades, like, it, 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 that's a, that's a, that's cool with what I did. It's, it's, I guarantee you, I guarantee you people are going to look that's at this. That's not talking across the board. I'm not talking. Because you can show, you can turn over all your talking. cards You didn't say, because what, 80% of communication is nonverbal. You didn't say you could. You said you could talk. You didn't say and the ref is supposed to be refereeing. Yes, he, he wasn't is. doing his because he's so busy worried about getting his fucking ear blown in, <laughs> <laughs> getting his ear whispered in. She probably, w- she probably whispering in his ear right now. Yeah. I'm not a cheater. I'm just a winner. So wherever somebody's winning is where I'll be. I mean, I'm I'm with her. <laughs> winning. Winning. I'm with her. Well, we just well right now we just have one win. Um, you know, you want to get. You want to get two to three wins. That'll ensure our our because our, we got to play everybody. So that'll if we win the next game, we're we're pretty guaranteed, pretty much guaranteed to, to be into the finals. So that's our goal right now, is just to get to the finals, and then whatever, and then anything can happen there. But um, the team that I really want to play in the finals, I'm gonna play that that team in the peanut gallery. They be talk, they talk shit like they don't know. The well, fuck. she knows how to bid though. She do. She knows how to. I don't know about him, but she, he's experienced though. He is experienced, yeah. so that could, they could present a problem. But the first team, they trash. They're not going to win this, and they're not even going to make. They might be the team, that, one of the teams that don't even advance, for sure. Probably B team. Well, the two teams don't advance, so. Well, it doesn't matter. They suck. We have a win under our belt, though. They have a loss. They have to win the next two games. Wow. I mean, I have a question, Herm. Is yeah. it cheating if you don't get caught? Um, well, um, in life, right? <laughs> in life, if you cheat on your girlfriend, she don't catch you. It is what it is. Am I right or wrong? They Black didn't ca- men don't cheat. Uh, no, they don't. But okay. what I didn't I see was cheating. I saw uh, Clint learning a trick from his father who taught him how to... Who taught a him trick. A trick that his father showed him that a lot of people who does it don't, don't pay attention to. The crazy thing is, Tish is like, I didn't even see it. But long story short, I don't think it's cheating if you didn't get caught. I don't think... They didn't catch it. If They, they should have been paying attention. Absolutely. They so worried about not bending their hand correctly <laughs> that they didn't see that the, that the man is showing his cards. <laughs> Literally. Hey, if... If you didn't get caught, it didn't happen. Them playing, now you want, okay. n- them, go them go playing go. together uh, in the past, the, the team we played against, Clinton Tish, uh, they, they played together before. And honestly, that's not fair. I know that I helped set up the way that we uh, selected the teams and it was obviously random, but you know, I also voted for a repick because they're the only two people that were here that had played as partners in spades. Uh, they definitely before. had an advantage. They had a true advantage yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, we were, we, we were coming in just kind of like, not knowing each other. I mean, I'm from Detroit, Flint, yep. you know, so we have to represent the, the, the dirty glove, three on three all day, every day. But, you know, I mean, they totally play together. They know each other's That's also not forget they cheated. They cheat. They did cheat. They cheated and they got caught. They had a book taken from them. Yep. And a cheater is a cheater. Yep. And for me, Table it's like- Table talking, I don't, we don't do that where I'm from. I have right. to put on for the city. So can we, can we show you something? Yeah, what's up? Here. Uh, camera, run that over. Detroit, three one three all day. A one up. So this is West Side Best Side. So just, just hit play? Yeah. Okay. Now, on, on a replay, we, we noticed something from the camera that I think you guys should see. So there, you should be seeing right there. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not surprised. I am surprised. I'm not surprised. Wait a minute. What the hell? 
They're cheaters. That's really what it comes down to. So we to. actually won. We yeah, we're winners. We did win. Are I mean, you other thing me? is the other thing is the only reason we lost was because of a rule that I've never heard of before, that she's never heard of before, Clint's, uh, Clint's teammate never heard of before, almost every other player in the peanut gallery had never heard of before, is that three bags set oh, you back. that's right. We never don't play heard like that, that in Detroit. We so don't if, play we, like that. if we were more aware of that rule, because he gave me probably like three or four extra rules on space that I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. He said, that's how, that's how people from Philly play. No, it's like, first of all, we already know the person who wrote the rules, Clinton. Yeah. Clint is a cheater because he cheated. He cheated again, got caught once, yeah. cheated again here, and he wrote the rules. And he oh, and then he won just by a miraculous like rule on the back end. Yeah, that's weird. After getting messed up, three it's so crazy. sandbags and you get set seven it's seventy just points. Funny. It's super convenient. That's ridiculous. That's it's, that's random rules. We don't we don't do that in the league. It's just really convenient that he's he made the rules and a little technicality is the reason that he got to win when he didn't deserve it. He knows it. Now, yeah. do you think, do you that's think why his ass was so quiet most of the game. Yup, silent treatment at us. Yeah, because he knew he's like I'm cheating, so it doesn't Damn. matter. Y'all can't win. It was his timing. The only time that you can do that when nobody else is looking is having a partner who knows you. Because typically, as soon as you all get your cards, what you do is you look at all your cards and you have to organize them. Now, what I realized now in watching this is what happening is because they played together before, his partner, she was the only person on the table picking up every single card as it was thrown down. In most black communities, and most people playing spades, that is bad luck. Mm, but she picked up and true. organized and her cards. She picked up and organized the cards as they were being dealt to her. We need to run and back. then she looks up and sees all of his cards because he know she knows he's gonna do it. Mm. So yeah, cheating and also they got to be on the same team with people who played before. Cause for me, I never would have saw it if my partner had done it because I'm looking at my hand. Also, can I point out that the last game they won by losing, if that makes any sense. They did win by losing. They won by losing. Like cheaters. They only won because they cheated and because the stupid score thing. I mean, we're we're winners at the end of the day. I, I still no, think not. I'm the best. At the we end lost. of the day. No, yeah, lost. but we we lost. We didn't. We lost. We lost. And it's my fault. We lost. It is your fault. You. It was your fault. Yeah. I mean, we ran a master class in spades from the back seat, like, like literally from them. ten like, feet away. Go up one book. Like, how do you make eleven books and you bid seven? They don't know how to bid their hands. But no, they why. told each other, I got four, I got four. Let's go seven. That's not how math works. They're like, yeah, like literally, if you were to add four plus four, it doesn't equal eight. seven, Every it equals time. eight. Like, had they just gone eight, they would not have gotten set. Like, how do you, but then the other team how won by that? losing. Yeah. Like, they both lost. This is the, this is what the yeah, worst yeah, yeah. part is. Like, we're, like, we're definitely gonna be playing two losers. This has been an amazing round one, D Free. Amazing, amazing round, round one. one. What have we seen? We've seen cheating. We've seen reneging. Nigging. We've seen board talk. We've, we've seen, seen mis mistrust. Mistrust. We've seen partners cutting partners. Everything. Yeah. And you would think this is scripted. Bags galore. <laughs> Got more bags than the Gucci store over there. I, I love this, man. But and, and, I'm, and this was a great round one of space. And uh, I can't wait to get to round two because round two has some really interesting matchups. Absolutely. The main matchup main people want to see, though, is the headliners versus the dirty mitten. I don't know about y'all, but I kind of want the headliners to get 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 theirs. I don't think we should sleep on the JPs versus uh, Fuck Your Feelings. I don't think so come either. In, I, I know we underestimate. We, you know, Patrick doesn't have a lot of experience. After the first game, we underestimate made him a little he really turned it around in the second and i think that uh come this this sec this next matchup they'll be a formidable uh opponent they got they got a great they, listen they have a great chance of winning Absolutely. the thing is though fuck your feelings in my opinion uh they just came after you, you know how you how do you feel after a hard fought win like they fought for that win they clawed for that win so are they on edge or are, are they drained we'll see but thank you guys for tuning into the world series of spades i am your host mr herman coley d free that's my co-host ladies and gentlemen and we'll be right back at you in the next round <laughs>